Hello and welcome back to Tiny Artist TV. Today's video is the continuation of the 115 character creation challenge in the mini series within the series, the antique armor sets. And this is armor set number four out of five that I will be doing. And as you can see, I have way more references than I had for my last armor set. So I'm hoping this one goes a little bit smoother. Off screen, I spent about two to three days ruminating on what pose I wanted to do for this armor set because I knew I wanted this to be sort of like a firebird dancer type uh, pose and character. And so I just had like hundreds of dance poses just flashing through my head. And I finally got my brain to settle down enough to give me this. <laughs> and as you can see, I was able to get the sketch out pretty quickly. Um, probably because I spent way too long thinking about the pose. Um, so now what I'm doing is I've cut up all of my references and basically placed them adjacent to where I want to use them for my particular character. In a little bit of a blink and you'll miss it moment, I have this glass bell that I've cut in half, one half. Uh, I took the top off to use as inspiration for tights, just basic red fishnet tights. And then the bottom of the bell, I pull up towards her arm because I want to use those as bangles. I've cut these, I think they're supposed to be vases or water pitchers. I use those as wings for this Phoenix Dancer type character. The fans are inspired by, as you can see on the teacup here, the sort of gold and white motif. And the idea was that they were supposed to be bladed fans, but I ended up just making them sort of decorative dancing fans in the end. Um, I didn't feel like rendering out more metal detailing after I do all of the other detailing that I do because she's got a lot going on and I felt like this was a design where I had to tell myself enough is enough and pull back in some aspects um, but other parts the costume as you can see the fan motif carries on I made a crown out of that and then there's also in the back her scarf it's kind of a batik style scarf and then again, on the bottom of her skirt there, kind of has an idea of what was on the teacups as well. And the flowers were just there because, well, incidentally, and I don't know if I actually did do this on purpose, um, but I was finding flowers for each armor set as an idea of something I could add. And I'm four armor sets in and I've added flowers to everything. So they're just part of the sets now. So she has this big billowing, not quite a cape, I guess a collar of flowers and it's in the crown and she has little flowers on her ankles. And then the last thing I used for reference, I didn't end up using the bird statue. Um, I was gonna give her a live hawk resting on her wrist, but again, editing that would have been way too much um the chest piece was the last thing this was just kind of a copper i think it was a ring i'm not quite sure but i liked the design on it and i knew i wanted to mold that into a chest piece and then the stained glass panel i take the leaf designs off of that and make it into the top part of her costume so that copper ring thing i mentioned kind of ends up being sort of like a corset type uh thing and then the leaves are you can kind of see there's like a mesh between where the corset ends and the leaves begin this kind of very theatrical again more dancer finesse based armor than like a hard armor set unlike what i tried to do with the last armor set making a finesse mage armor this one actually worked <laughs> and I'm very happy that um, I only had one little hiccup in the set so far. We still have to do armor set number five, so we'll see. But um, yeah, basically just rendering out all of the details now, deciding what makeup and jewelry to add. This is sort of inspired by like several pieces of Southeast Asian theater. There's no one specific culture that I'm pulling from, and so I don't want to say this is specifically from this nation or this country, but you can definitely see the influence if you're familiar with um, Southeast Asian theater and just the kind of over-the-top beautiful costuming that they typically use in their performances. And so I wanted to do something like that with um, this armor set. 
even though the color palette uh, on initial look was kind of dull. So I'm glad I had the like very strong red, orange, and yellow to work with because I used the red for my shadows and I use the yellow for my highlights. I do use a lighter version of the yellow, admittedly, but it makes everything just kind of pop a little bit more. So I didn't go too far outside of the colors that I had to work with outside of the leaves, because obviously, you know, with the type of leaves that these are, they're not orange and yellow. <laughs> the flowers are, but the leaves were still very green. I do make them a little more tropical by adding the red back in and then I give them some highlights with the yellow and a little bit of a kind of lime green in between the yellow that I had to work with in the palette and then the green of the leaves that I had to work with again just to kind of tie everything back in together um yeah not quite sure what else to say about the armor set at this point other than the flowers I do kind of work those out off screen because there's a lot here and I do a technique that's called photo bashing. You can call it cheating if you want to, but this is, again, even though I decided to fully render these armor pieces out, in my mind, this is still just kind of a more fleshed out sketch. And I'd already been working on this for about, let's see, about four hours. So I think altogether this piece took me about five hours to complete. Um, and I didn't feel like spending another two hours just rendering flowers, even though when I had started this character, I was like, oh yeah, I've, I've done this before after I'd already worked on everything else. I was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing it. So I photo bash the flowers and I do still paint over the flowers a little bit. If you're not sure what it is, um, it's basically where you, it's kind of what it sounds like. You take the image that you're referencing and you just kind of like meld it into what you're working on and paint over it. So this is what I did with the flowers. Just gonna be transparent about that. I did not spend an extra two hours rendering the flowers, but I think I did a good enough job with everything else, all the other surrounding details that if I hadn't said anything, you probably wouldn't have noticed. And those are kind of the last thing I fuss with because there's about 30 to 45 minutes of other stuff that I do with this, like adding in the highlights to the metal and then adding in kind of a glossy sheen and a little bit of a sequin type texture to the leaves of her top. Um, adding in finally the fishnets because I finally remember those from all the way back at the beginning of the video with the bell that I had planned on adding fishnet tights because of the lattice work that was in the glass so those get added on and then just kind of messing with pulling everything together and the flowers are the very last thing so you don't even see those in here until the video is finished so we are done with today's character and i hope you have enjoyed this next installment of the 115 character creation challenge videos and we have one more to do it's the wildberry armor set so i'll see you next time but until then have a weird day Also, let me know what you think of the new intro. It's something I've kind of been playing around with uh, when I started, when I restarted my brand, if you'll call it, as Tiny Artist TV to have like the kind of TV motif. So let me know if you think it's corny, if it works. Um, yeah, comment down below and I'll see you next time.